Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Dino's Tech World. Today I'm going to do a basic tutorial on Inspiration Software. Inspiration Software is a uh, visual thinking tool for creating mind maps, concept maps, and uh, outlines and presentations. A lot of people use this software for mind maps. So to start off with, uh, this is what Inspiration looks like when we initially start up. And so it gives us a choice of three uh, primary types of documents that we can start with. A diagram, which is a free flow diagramming software. An outline, which is just to create outlines and you can, can make diagrams out of those outlines. And a map, which is like a mind map. So let's start with a diagram. Now, Inspiration Software is, is, is kind of like a mind mapping or tool, or it is a mind mapping tool, in fact. And, and th when they designed it, that was one of the primary um, uh, things they were looking at, is to make something that you can use for mind mapping. So when you start out with a diagram, it starts out with a main idea. So I'm going to click on this main idea, and I'm going to change its name. And we're going to start our main idea is car company and I'm going to uh, create a, a chart of the departments within this car company uh, using uh, kind of like a mind mapping type of uh, diagram and so uh, what I need to do next is you can see the cursor I left the cursor um, blinking here at the end of that line I'm gonna go up here to rapid fire and uh, I'm gonna select with links which is the default you can do it without links as well. So, so with links will actually create links for you as you're creating new boxes. So I'm going to click on rapid fire and you'll see a little lightning bolt here. So I'm going to start to type department names, admin, and I hit enter and it will create a, a new box. I'm going to type support, hit enter and it will create a new box. And I'm going to type uh, operations hit and enter and then it creates a new box now I can click on these and drag them out to give them space and move them around I can move support down here and operations out here up here if I want to and uh, so now I can go to operations and I can click here at the end of this word and put the carrot or the cursor there I'm going to go to rapid fire again and you'll see the the uh, lightning bolt there and I'm going to put R&D for research and development hit enter and I'm going to put uh, manufacturing hit enter right there it creates another bubble and I'm going to move these out and I can do the same here for support real quick so I'm going to put IT as a department Oh, I need to, of course, click on rapid fire. Make sure that lightning bolt is there. And uh, then we're going to go IT. And we're going to go facilities. So it creates bubbles for both of those. Made a little mistake there. I put an apostrophe before it. So we can we can edit it easily and move these out to wherever we want. Now once we have the diagram, we can change things about this. They all have the same shape of box and the same color of box. So we can change any of those attributes. I'm going to go to uh, car company right here. And you can see I can go up here to where it says symbols and click on any of these and I can change it to a square box or a square box with one rounded edges or a cloud or this shape right here and where there's another shape right there. So we're going to just turn it into a square for now. There's a toolbar along the bottom here. We can change the size and uh, the uh, type of font. We can make it bold and we can underline it, make it italics, whatever we want. But we can also go over here to the far right and click on fill color, change the fill color of this box. And then we can go right next to that. There's a line color. So uh, we can change the line color to whatever we want. Uh, in this case, let's just make it red. And it's a very thin line, so we can go over here to where there are the line 
uh, thickness icon and we can make it wider or thinner to suit however we want it to be. The next thing we can do is we can click on a line and we can change the line as well. So we can change the thickness of the line if we wish to. Uh, we can change whether there's no arrows or we can change the direction of the arrow or we can have arrows going on both ends. We're going to change that back to out. And then the last thing we can do here is we can change uh, whether it's a straight line, which is default, or a right angle. This is sometimes good to do because when you have a lot of straight lines, sometimes they cross each other, and by making a right angle one, you can make the diagram clearer. The other thing that you can do with that is you can click on that line again, and um, you can actually... Uh, make it a single curve or a double curve. The other thing is there's a little label here. If you click on the line, you can actually label the line if you want to label or put a label on the line. In this case, we don't need one, so I'm not going to bother. All right, so we've made this diagram. It was really easy. It's easiest when you know what's, what's going on uh, with each of these things. Another thing we can do here is let's highlight R&D. And we can, there are all these uh, libraries of icons over here, and there are a bunch of different categories. We're going to just use basic, and there's a book right here, and we're going to put, make R&D a book icon. So you can actually change uh, not only the shape, but you can actually uh, change what these are. And let's say we decide we want to make it a light bulb, because that, that seems like it might work pretty good for... Um, that and let's go over here to manufacturing we can make this this little icon here where it's cycling around uh, and so so we can do any of those things we can change these to icons any different shapes we want now if we go to this uh outline icon up here at the top and click on this you'll see that uh the diagram has actually generated an outline and the nice thing about this is anything you change on the outline will change in the diagram and vice versa. So let's say we want R and D to be at the same level as operations instead of under it. We can click on R and D and there's a, a uh, arrow right here, a left arrow, so we can move it up a level. And so now R and D is at the same level of operations. So if we go to the diagram, you'll see operations is now coming directly out of our main idea right here. Now, say we decide we want to put it back under op operations. We can go here and we can uh, just hit the right uh, arrow up here and it will bring it back to the same level. And so you see it's at the same level. Or if we want to put it at, under admin, for example, we can also go here and drag this up underneath admin and arrow it over and go back to the diagram and now it's it's part of admin. So that's the nice thing about having um, the outline function within this. Uh, you can you can make some adjustments to it and you also have an outline which is nice. We go down here to this bottom uh, toolbar again and click on this hand we get a hand uh, cursor and we can actually move the entire diagram around um, we're basically moving the canvas around so we can see different parts because we could make this canvas or this diagram huge if we wanted to so the other way we can move it around is by using the bottom scroll bar and the side scroll bar Uh, so that's how y you can create a diagram in this. Now, the other thing that we can do is we can go uh, to uh, any place on here and we can go to rapid fire again and we can select without links. And right now the rapid fire automatically went under R and D, but if we put it back 
under operations we could uh, click on rapid fire and if we type here and we can click this anywhere actually uh, so we could put uh, let's just put apple hit return orange hit return and uh, pair and these are just examples they're not actually departments but we have these all and they're all separated so now what we can do when they're separated is if we want them say under facilities say these are team names we can go up here and we can go and click on link and we can actually link from this to each one of these and then we can move them around to wherever we want them to be and if we go back again to outline you'll see facilities has a team apple pear and orange under it and you can change the order of these by dragging them around so if we wanted the order orange to be second in the outline we could do that and it's uh, they're still in the um, diagram it doesn't change the position of it in the diagram we have to actually change the position in the diagram and the diagram itself. Now that we have our diagram, we can go up here and save the, the, the diagram. So I'm going to just call it comp car company and save it. Or we can go to transfer here and we can actually uh, transfer this uh, diagram and the outline into a Word document. And we have another choice also under file where we can export this and we can export it to a PDF or to a PowerPoint if we wish to. So that's the basic tutorial on how to use inspiration software. I'm Dean and this has been Dino's Tech World and I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like.